Right, guys. Now, obviously, as we know, uh, with uh, Shadowkeep, when it first came out, we had Seasons. Now, this is obviously Season of Undying, and we've got to get all the way up to 100. Now, obviously, the fastest way to do that is obviously by doing bounties and other bits and pieces. So, uh, once I've been playing today, what I did find is that with the Nightmare Hunt bounties, now, obviously, as we know, with the Nightmare Hunt, if you've actually done them, uh, you can run through them, and they're very, very quick. But also, in regards to that, when you're actually playing through them, there are a lot of nightmares, a lot high um, uh, enemies that have a lot of power and whatnot else. And also, with the actual uh, bounties that you get, now, a lot of them, they will actually state that what you're going to need to do is uh, get, say, assault rifle kills. I've actually done them today. This is how I just worked it out. But with the assault rifle kills and, say, like the uh, hand cannons and things like that, you obviously have to get the finishing shots. Now, obviously, there's a team of three of you that run through, uh, obviously, the corridors to try and get to the, the final boss at the end, depending on which one that you actually do. Now, obviously, as you're running through there, you're going to come across, uh, like I say, a lot of enemies that are high in power, and they're going to take a lot to put down. Now... Either that, as when you're shooting them, if someone else gets the final shot, then they obviously get the kill. Now, if there's three of you all trying to run for the bounties, whether you're on the same team, whether you're playing with randoms, whatever else, it's highly annoying when you get someone's energy all the way down and then say they blow them up with a grenade, um, you know, whatever else, and you don't get, actually get the kill. Now, this is what I was finding. I was trying to go through the nightmare hunt. I was trying to defeat other enemies. And I was picking up one or two uh, with my assault rifle, hand cannon, and stuff like that. Because they were taking so much damage and then it just gets shared about. So it was highly getting annoying. But what I did find out was, was the easiest way to actually grind out most of these bounties. And that is, first of all, go to the Nightmare Hunt Insanity. Now, if we jump into this one, this is by far the easiest one to do. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to obviously launch in. We're going to uh, go in with a team of randoms, me personally. Okay, so now we're actually in here. We've got a team of uh, three. Now, these guys, look at them. They're all racing away, and they're going to go in there. That's exactly what we want. We want them to piss off. Exactly what we want. Now, I need to personally, uh, to finish off some of my ones. Oh, there you go. I actually got uh, 18 out of 25 for my fusion rifles. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stay here. And we're going to farm as many of these as we possibly can quickly. Hopefully, we might be able to finish them off if not. So, what you're going to find is you've got a few there. Then we've got a few at the top. Now, you're going to be thinking that they are going to... Obviously, the computer then is going to make you join up with them. But you've got until they actually uh, get to the final boss. It's not like when they go through the first doorway or anything else like that. You've got time just to quickly scoop around... And these guys are just literally just keep respawning, just like they do on the moon, and then bang. We have a look at that scattered wind. We go to our quest here, and then boom, final blows are done, and fusion rifles, that one completed. Now, say you're doing that with the assault rifle kills or anything else like that, you can stand here because these guys here literally have hardly any damage whatsoever. Okay, they might be a little bit trickier bastards. You can obviously switch it to um, obviously a different weapon or whatever else like that if you need to get your precision kills or anything. But if you just stay here, um, obviously just go into there. Just like what you do when you're uh, scouting around on the moon. You shoot these guys. Then you go back out to these guys. And just keep farming, rinsing and repeating. What will happen then is once the guys that are actually in there doing the actual level themselves. Like I say, when they get to the final boss... That's when it'll make you join the enemies there, you think, but you get the same rewards and everything else like that. But what you'll find is you'll be able to cycle straight through all of your bounties a lot, lot quicker. So trust me on this, guys. So if you want to do your bounties quicker, farm them this way, and you'll be over and done with no time. But anyway, this is just going to be me checking out now. Guys, if you're interested in checking out my stream, this is going to be on the channel as well. But if not, bye-bye, guys.